Villa Pacifica by Kapka Kasabova, published by Alma Books. This is a novel set on the west coast of South America in an unnamed country, but it's very evocative of this part of the world. You know, there are lots of animals, the jungle is dense, it's hot, it's sticky, and it's a good read. Uta is a travel writer and she turns up at Villa Pacifica, as in the title, with her husband Jerry. Now, Villa Pacifica is in the middle of a very poor region, um, but it's a little oasis and it's uh, uh, supposed to be a very nice place to stay and they go and stay in one of the huts in this rather lush place. Uta, being a travel writer, decides to go out and explore. But there's something not quite right about this place. It has a kind of negative vibe, although everybody's, you know, quite happy and really pleased to be there. She goes to a place called Puerto Seco, which is the local harbour, um, and it's a dead town. She also goes to the cafe there, which is Cafe El Fin del Mundo, the end of the world. So something about it is just not sitting very well. At the cafe, she meets Consuelo, who runs the cafe, and she talks about her husband, who is an artist who's had to retreat because he has cancer and he's up somewhere up in the hills trying to recuperate or come to the terms with the ending of his life. There's Max, who's an American, who's one of the guests at Villa Pacifica, and he's a right character. In fact, he's pretty awful. Um, and he gets into some right scrapes that kind of takes the people living there down with him, although it's all much of a jape. Uta has outbreaks of eczema, and it's almost like this is an inner expression of her uh, emotional core that somehow on the outside it's just leaking out and she's got some things to deal with. On the other side of the river from Villa Pacifica is a sanctuary for animals who've been trafficked and the people who run Villa Pacifica actually look after these animals and it's kind of like a, a metaphor for what's going on, the caged people in Villa Pacifica, the caged animals and then there is El Nino, that terrible storm that comes in that makes people mad. So if you're looking for something just a little bit different, Capca Casabova's Villa Pacifica, and particularly if you're looking for something set in South America, it has a really good feel of the tropical, sometimes arid climate.